Hi guys, DCT makes here. Um, this is my um, variable speed DC motor drive that I put together for my knife grinder. <clears throat> Normally in this area just over here we have like a three and a half, three and three quarter DC motor, large one often an industrial style um, treadmill. But um, this is for Keegan on um, the MC60 board. Uh, hopefully this works out. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. So we have power coming in. Mains 110. And there's a switch up here. Switch bringing the power in. Switch simple on and off. Dropping into AC2 and AC1. Now, if your motor's got a thermal brake, two blue wires, um, theoretically you can um, brake between these two. This one would have blue written on. It'll have blue written on the case and it'll have white. And you can put the thermal brake of the motor getting too warm across there. In this particular instance, I don't have that. So power coming in through the switch into the board. Power coming out, positive, A plus, red. It's got A plus red written there, real simple. A minus, black there, coming out, going to the motor. Theoretically, if you reverse these, you reverse the motor, obviously. So, and I just, I just got a piece of junk. DC small motor in here just for the wires so you can see them. But um, basically power in, power through the switch, down to the board, thermal brake in here if you want, earth to the body. And then the part that, you know, everybody has a problem with is the variable. Now on this particular one, I've got a 5K pot. Um, I'm not gonna try and explain pot. Um, just real simple from on the potentiometer from the low side to the high side is a fixed length of wire. Try and keep it simple, I guess, is that that is the size of the pot, zero to 5K, zero to 10, whatever the pot is from low to high, that's a fixed length. That's a fixed length of uh, wire given a certain resistance. If you're at the top, you're at in this particular case, you're at 5K at the bottom, theoretically near zero. The one that's in the middle is called the wiper. So you have high, wipe, and low. The wipe is the variable portion where it, from zero through to the high side, um, you're swiping a lever around which is theoretically changing the resistance that's actually being portrayed out of the potentiometer to the board of voltage so you get a voltage difference the when you turn your rear stat sorry potentiometer when you turn it you're actually swiping an arm in an arc around a wire and you're changing the resistance theoretically given a different voltage output theoretically anyway that's the variable portion of that drive now this particular instance that's real simple there's no thermal brake cutting the power there's no restarting at so if you if you turn this machine off with the power and the potentiometer is say let's say it's like at 40 and it's running at x amount of rpm when you turn the machine back on it's let's call it null it will not start you have to sweep the potentiometer back to zero and then bring it back up to that point well for the knife grinder that doesn't matter but in some um applications you probably like drill press you probably want that and I've got another video out there from my drill press I'm gonna try and get that done but this is basically the wire, the the easiest wire diagram to get the DC motor 
to power up and be variable speed. Um, obviously, with the thermal brake and uh, switching the wires backwards and forwards for other applications, you know, with a DRO and you want to move backwards and forwards. Obviously, you can make this a lot more complicated, but just plain basic MC60 board. The um, treadmill cost me like $45. I got a three four hundred dollar motor an mc60 board enough metal and stuff that you can see that i built other stuff with it um nuts and bolts and um, um high grade um fasteners and stuff a piece of phenolic board that the belt runs around the belt itself you get a whole bunch of stuff out of a treadmill so well worth investing but you can get different boards in them on the one in, in the um, drill press, the, there is a transformer on the side. I can take some pictures of that as well. But theoretically, that's the simplest way this works. It actually drives the... Uh, let's zoom back out a bit. It actually drives this piece of kit. It's just a homemade knife grinder. Not with this motor. It's too tiny. But um, that's it. Um, Keegan, you got any more questions? I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. I am not an electrical expert or anything. But um, see you later. Bye.